Have you ever felt left out before? A lot of times. <laughs> Hi friends, today I'm going to share with you a little bit of the extra content that's in my new book, Daniela and the Queen's Magic Potion. Now, after you finish reading the story with your child, there are some questions and it says, let's have a think and a chat. Who are the main characters in this story? I think the girl and the queen. Yes, I think so too. And there's a few more questions here that I've put for discussion. What problems or challenges did Daniela face in the story? That all of her friends like weren't by her side anymore. Yeah. Mm. And she had to, um, she got fired from her job. Mm. What was your favorite part of the story? that she never gave up and she still believed in herself. Fantastic. Did any part of the story make you feel sad? A little bit. When she was all left out. Yeah. Have you ever felt left out before? A lot of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did any part of the story make you feel happy? Mm-hmm. That's what a part of the story made you feel happy. <laughs> when the um, queen <laughs> got... <Yeah. laughs> do you think Daniela made a wise choice? Yeah. Yeah, why, why do you think she made a wise choice? Because she wasn't worried about her other friends. She knew that she could always make other friends and she would be guided by um, God and Jesus. Yeah, yeah. She'd be guided by, you know, what she believed in, isn't that yeah. right? Yeah. If you were Daniela, is there anything you would have done differently? That's a hard question. Maybe. Maybe. I would tell them that the person isn't real and it just makes you different to what your self is. Hmm. I like that. That's a good thought. If you could change one thing about the story, what would it be? Did you like the ending? Why or why not? Which page or illustration do you like best? Is there a lesson you can learn from this story? It says, how many yellow kites did you find? <laughs> I think I found all of them except yes. for like one or two. Okay, well, we're not going to give everybody the number of mm. kites because they're going to have to get the book yeah. <laughs> so they can um, yeah. count them for themselves. And also, this book has, I actually talked to the real girl the story is about and her name is Bella and so I asked her to tell me about her real experience and so I wrote in the back of the book I wrote Bella's account so that if people are interested to hear her words and how she felt because her roommates did ask her to me about it, and she did lose her job and a lot of the things in the story it's exactly what happened to her and the other thing that I included in the book was another real story, and it's an ancient story from the Bible. Daniel was a man, a young man, who stood strong for his beliefs. And so I put that in the back of the book as well. So, but thank you so much, Summer, for helping me read through my story. Thank and you for letting me. <laughs> I really appreciate you doing that and giving me some insight and in what you think about it. And um, we'll need to say goodbye, everyone, and say thanks for watching. So you want to tell them thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.